today's tutorial is all about glass cutting, the equipment that you'll need and the way to use that equipment in a safe way to get the best results. The first thing that you'll need is a pair of safety goggles. You will also need a pair of gloves. Now let's look at glass cutters. Generally speaking, glass cutters come in this form. Another alternative is this, which is a really interesting little design which sits in the crook of your hand. We also have this type of cutting. You will also need to buy pliers. These are known as grosing pliers. Another handy device are these breaking pliers for breaking glass. You will need a T-square or a set square. So as you can see here, the glass cutter has a small wheel, a tungsten carbide wheel that sits on the front of the glass cutter like this. I tend not to put oil in the inside of the tube. I tend to use a reservoir of oil that I've made already in a little container such as this. I've just put some little cotton wool buds in there and I fill it with WD-40. That's all I use. And whenever I'm ready to cut the glass, I dip the glass cutter in the oil reservoir and it's good to go. So looking at the pliers, these are the grosing pliers. And as you can see, if you're looking closely at it, there is a flat jaw and there is a curved jaw. And the important thing to remember is that the flat jaw is the top side of the pliers and the curved jaw is the bottom side of the pliers. So when you come to cut a piece of glass, you will introduce the pliers like this with the flat surface on top and the curved surface underneath. The important thing when cutting glass is how to hold the glass cutter correctly. I tend to hold the glass cutter like this, as if it's a, a pen that I'm writing with. I even see people holding a glass cutter like this with a clenched fist. I don't suggest that that's the best way of doing it and the reason for it is if you can learn to hold a glass cutter like you're holding a pen, it's very easy to then turn the glass cutter and later on when you're cutting curves and cutting intricate shapes, being able to rotate the glass cutter like this is really helpful. So have a listen to the sound of how glass should sound when you're cutting it. Now this is the weak point in the glass, so that it allows us then to take our glass cutter with the ball end here, the brass ball end, and very gently tap the back side of the glass like this. And then we break in a downward motion like this. So let's just draw a couple of shapes here. And I'm using my pinky or my small finger as a sort of a guideline just to maintain a nice even pressure and an even consistency over the surface. Slight fracture. Let's just continue it like this. And here we have a beautiful set of curved lines.